Hi everyone, it's Deneen, and I'm going to show you today how I put together this spread with the Allie Edwards Happy Story Kit. So let's get started with what I'm going to be using, and you will see here that I have several things ready to go. I am going to start by showing you the full page photo that I am going to use for the left side of my spread. And then I'm going to use the seven by eight and a quarter piece of paper that is just wonderful with its colors and its script. And I have to decide between these two particular pieces. These were add-ons for the kit. I'm not sure whether I want to use cheerful, cheerful or just smile. So I have both of those staged. And I also have a few of these fabric strips left to add to my photo. I never get to use these. I don't know why. So I pulled out the plastic word and I'm definitely going to use that. I've punched out this so happy from the three by four card. And then I've also punched out a few three inch circles in different patterns. This one's from the kit and these are just from different scraps of paper within my stash. And then the main focus on the right side is going to be this circle. It is a six inch circle with a photo at the bottom and at the top I've formatted my journaling to fit inside of the top half circle. Um, you absolutely do not need to type anything. You could cut out a six, six inch circle and you can just adhere a photo to it and then you can do your journaling basically just by printing it in. I have a space in the middle here that I put so I can put this so happy piece. Um, but again, I do everything in Photoshop Elements. You do not have to. Um, it's just my way of doing things. So let's get started. This is the right page and the photo will be my left page. So let's just kind of go ahead and punch holes in those to begin our process. Once I get my holes punched, I will then focus on working on the right side of my spread on the patterned paper. And this circle is going to go on top and then the half circle on top of that. I will kind of go between the two and figure out which half circle looks better to me. And eventually I will make a decision to go with the Just Smile. I'll go ahead and adhere the circle to my patterned paper, making sure that I have it exactly where I want it and that the, um, the line across the middle is even. These are the circles that I'd like to put on top of this plastic half circle. And I'm just kind of going back and forth between the different patterns. Uh, some yellows, blues, there's a little bit of green in there. Um, this particular one I'm putting down now is from the Happy Kit, and I'm just trying to figure out what, what balance, you know, what is the color balance and what I like best, right? It's all about what you like best, not what everyone else is going to like. So I eventually am going to settle on the yellow, and I think I'm going to use scored tape, but then I changed my mind, and I'm glad that I did because I end up making some errors. So I just use regular adhesive and I cut off the edge because I only want it to cover uh, the plastic piece and I want this little circle on top to go over the actual photo itself. And so you'll see here that I'm kind of adhering things down and lining things up. Um, I will kind of flip this half circle over and realize that it's not quite where it needs to be. Um, I don't necessarily like the way I was putting it on there and I probably should have stopped and realized that something was wrong but I kept going and as you can see things just were not lining up and that should have been a huge big red flag to me right I should have said this isn't right this isn't going well but I just kept going I just kept moving along and you'll see here that things end up not turning out so well. Even though, as I'm doing this, I am convinced. I'm convinced. I got this. I got this, and it is going to turn out exactly the way I want. So I shift things around a little bit. I've already punched or used the paper piercer to put the hole in it. 
uh, ended up being right in the middle of so happy. You'll see right there. And I think, yeah, I got this, you know, get out my little brad. I stick my little brad in there, put down the flaps in the back and bam. Uh Oh, so here we go. I made a big error. And so here you're going to see, I'm trying to figure it out, right? What can I do to fix this? And so I am just kind of going back and forth. And you can see that it's just, I didn't plan. I didn't plan enough for putting this half circle on and making sure that it would spin correctly. So um, what you'll see here now is that I start taking things apart and eventually I decide that I need to go off camera and I need to really think about this because I am now just like paper piercing like crazy and making all kinds of holes. So you'll see that eventually I do finally figure all of this out. So let me explain to you what the problem was. Um, I didn't do any measuring. This is a six inch circle, which means that the little hole needs to go right in the middle and it needs to go directly in the middle, which means it would be right on that line between the white part with the words and the photo. And I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So here you're gonna see, I went ahead and finally figured that out. And you'll see that now I have exactly what I want. And so now I have a hole. So I decide that I'm going to try to fix that hole. And you'll see that um, before I do, I do the main page or the first page uh, with my happy plastic piece. And I'm going through the different sayings on these strips here and trying to pick out which one I like the best. I kind of liked the size of the first one, but I didn't like the sentiment. So I ended up going with a longer piece and a little bit of a different sentiment than I had wanted, but that's fine. So my next mistake here was using score tape to put on this plastic piece, which I should have known better, but I didn't. And after I put the score tape on and I put the happy down on my page, it started to show through the happy. And as if I hadn't already screwed up enough, I then decide I'm going to try to pull it up, which begins to ruin the plastic piece. So I just keep plowing forward, right? Just keep moving forward and figuring it out. Um, eventually, I fix everything. Um, and you'll see at the end of the video that I actually went back after I was done with the video and I did some more fixing. So here we go with the um, fabric strip. I'm going to place that um, across the bottom of the happy, which does cover up a few of my errors, which was a good thing. Uh, there's an error on the H and happy there that you can see that I have to fix as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on my date and um, always stamping ahead of time. I am not a good date stamper, but that one wasn't so crooked, so it wasn't so bad. And then I go ahead and I get out some um, chipboard hearts and I decide I'm going to do some covering here. And so I take one of the hearts and I put it over the So Happy. And it's a tiny, itsy bitsy blue heart that I finally settle with over the So Happy. And then I go ahead and I grab a yellow larger heart um, to kind of bring the yellow from the second page into the first. And I put it over the H and Happy. So there you go. And at this point, I tell myself that I'm done. It spins down and it spins back up and everything looks great. But I do tend to always change my mind. So let me show you here really quick before I leave you that I ended up taking that blue heart off of the middle of So Happy. I ended up reprinting the So Happy card. The original was from the physical kit. But since I get the digital kit, I went ahead and printed that out and I put the So Happy on top of the Brad. So before you saw the little heart was 
between the words so and happy to cover my original piercing hole and then underneath that was the new piercing hole so there was a little blue heart and then underneath it was a silver brad and that bothered me so there I go this is what I ended up with here and um, if you have any questions um, let me know I'll try to answer them um, probably seem like I have no clue doing this video, but I'm still going to share it with you in case you are interested in attempting this. Um, if you have any questions, again, reach out and I will try to help you through. Thanks for watching today and I hope everybody has an awesome day.